This gal jumped out of the tank. She's still breathing. When I found her on the ground, I thought I almost stepped on her. Honestly. And then I looked at the ground, I was like, is that what I think it is? Is that a dead fish? Nope, surely enough, she was still alive. She must have just jumped. And this guy over here is trying to peck at something. Trying to tell me to feed them when there's zucchini right there. That they can eat all day long. It's like, no. Get the hell out of here. But yeah. She's in the net. I'll leave her there till later. See if she gets any better. She's swimming around or whatnot. She's in a little shock. See how fast her lungs are moving. So. Yeah. They're all wondering what I'm doing over there. Looks really dark from that end. I should do something about that. Clean the glass. I'm getting algae that you usually only see in salt water in here. In the back. That's kind of funny. And that's the bad algae. That's cyanoalgae. But, hey, you know, just shows a mature tank. Like Luke Gates Brett's always says. Look at the fry. The bigger fryer picking on the littler ones. That's kind of funny. Not really. Kind of mean. <laughs> right there. There's some fry. Those are about a week old. These three right here in front, they're about a week old. Same with that one over there. He's about a week old. He's just been eating more. Some of them are about three weeks old, the bigger ones. And they're not getting eaten. That's what's blowing my mind. And if they are, they're devouring the whole carcass. Because I don't see them eating each other. They get fed plenty enough. Down here, we just have a pleco. It's still alive. It amazes me that it's still alive. With how high the pH has gotten on that tank. In the last few months, it's gone up and down, up and down. Not sure what is going on in that tank. Maybe a bunch of snails dying or something like that, but pretty sure that's what it is. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this short, sweet content. I'm trying to do less time on my phone because my phone's got very little space. It's hard to do a lot of videos with very little space. The Pleco's doing great in the box. She she gets fed more than any of these guys. I put pieces of algae in there, and I put seaweed in there. I put some brine in there about every night. Some sort of brine. If not seaweed. I have frozen seaweed, too. As well as this stuff over here. This is my clutter shelf. It's nothing but fish stuff. If you're wondering. We even got some snake oil over there. As everybody likes to call it nowadays. I usually don't buy that. I only buy prime because, you know, sometimes I need it within the salt water keeping. Sometimes. But, yeah. Hope you enjoy this short but sweet content. With the faith of a mustard seed, you can move any mountain. Don't let molehills become mountains or obstacles in your way. Have a very, very blessed day. Look at all the fry.
Those are about three days old. 